Hello, it's Mr. Wynn again. This is the second video of the Chapter 8, Part 2 test review. We just finished Chapter uh, Question 7. Those are vertical asymptotes. They don't really care about HA, but if you do want it, I guess I should say that HA is why it can't be zero, and there are no holes here because there's nothing that ca canceled out. Number 8, find, determine the values of x for any points of discontinuities in the graph. So again, a point of discontinuity, that's the hole. So here, we're looking for anything that cancels out. So I see the rational function. I had to factor everything. The top, it's two terms. No GCF stays the same because it's linear. That bottom, um, x squared plus 7x plus 12. Three terms, no GCF. I had to do the x method. On top is 12. On bottom, 7. Two numbers I multiply 12. Abstract 7 is uh, 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 plus 3 is 7. Now I do the signs. 7 is positive, so the 4 is automatically positive. And if I'm at 4, I have to add 3 to get 7. I do the parentheses, x plus 4, parentheses, x plus 3. I must divide by a. a is 1. Divide by 1 doesn't do anything. So the bottom is x plus 4, x plus 3. All right, there's fully factored. Step 2 is restrictions. Well, x cannot be negative 4 or negative 3. That's our VA. Now let's do the whole thing. Uh, HA, there is no HA. It's 0. Oh, I mean, it's missing is 0. Then we cancel out. Well, this is x plus 4. x plus 4 cancels out. So, when you cancel out, that's where you have the hole. So, the restriction from x plus 4 was negative 4. So this goes down. And uh, if there's something on top of a fraction, make sure you know there's a 1 there. So, A is 1. A is positive. If we need that, pause again means graph on the top right. Anyway, to answer the question, they say, where's the point of discontinuity? The hole is at x is negative 4. That's all they want. They don't care about the vertical asymptote. They don't care about the HA. They just want where's the hole. So whatever cancels out, make sure that restriction is where the hole is at. Number 9, write a reasonable equation of the following rational function graphed. All right, so we're going backwards. Instead of graphing ourselves, they go to the picture. So from the picture, we can figure out a lot of things. One, I know uh, we have VAs, so we have vertical asymptotes. So let's see, x cannot be, um, I have one at positive 2. I have another vertical one at negative 4. We do see an HA. An HA, uh, y can't be 0. So I know k. Um, I do need a. A, let's see, the picture starting on the top right. So because it's the top right, we know a has to be uh, positive. All right, so I'm going to put this information together. We have to have a fraction. A on top has to be a positive number. So it could be whatever number you want. Um, let's just call it 1. The bottom, I have two restrictions. x cannot be 2, x cannot be negative 4. I'm going to find restriction, I change the sign. So if I go backwards, I have to change the sign back. That's for the restriction of x equal can't be positive 2. And then this is the one for being positive 4. And k is 0, so it means plus 0, or technically you don't have to write that 0 there. All right, so a reasonable one would be, if I use that template, the positive number on top is called 1. And the bottom has to have x minus 2, and it has to have x plus 4. All right, and k must be 0, so that's it. There's, that's probably what the graph is. And I could graph that, but uh, I know I'm right. 10, um, variation. If y varies inversely, right? So I see the word y varies. So y in vary means equals. Inverse, remember the form of inverse is division. k over, this is inversely as x. k over x. There's my formula. There's two scenarios for variation. This is and y equals 10 when x equals 2. So I know y equals 10 when x equals 2. So I'm going to use that right now. I'm just going to plug it in. So for y, I put 10. k, I don't know yet, but x is 2. I got to solve for k. A simple algebra, if you have a fraction, or multiple both sides by the denominator to get rid of it. This cancels, the tops is k. And 2 times 10 is 20. I know what k is. All right, so now I'm going to fill in k into that formula right here. So I know y equals 20 over x. So first situation done. We knew x and y, so we found k. Now the second and the real question says, find y, find y when x equals 40. 
So y, we don't know. But x equals 40, so I'm going to plug this into that equation. So y, we don't know. But 20 over 40. I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to reduce this the correct way. So 20, we know, is, um, let's do 2 and 10. And 10 is a 2 and 5. All right, so 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. And let's see what 40 is. 40 is 4 times 10. 4 is 2 times 2. 10 is 2 times 5. So 3 2's and a 5. 3 2's and a 5. I just cancel out. So 2 cross out 2. 2 cross out 2. Five, five. Top is empty. It's fractional. That means there's a 1 there. So really, there's a 1 on top and 2 on bottom. And hopefully, and that's what Y is. Hopefully, you know that uh, 20 over 40 reduces to 1 half. All right, so we found y. 11. Appliance, all right, so word problem, and that's fine. Appliance store manager noted that weekly sales varied directly. So again, variation. So weekly sales varied. Let's call weekly sales W. W equals directly. Direct means multiply. So K times, see, very directly with the amount of money spent on advertising. Let's call it A, advertising. W equals KA. All right, so there's my equation. We got to know, find two situations. Um, last week, if last week's sales, so the weekly sales was 8,000. So if W equals 8,000, and $2,000 was spent on advertisement, so I mean A is 2,000. All right, we know enough for the first situation. Let's solve it for K. So W is 8,000 equals K times 2,000. Well, I had to divide both sides by 2,000 and solve for K. All right, and it's easy. 8,000 out of 2,000 is 4. K is 4. All right, so now we know the real equation. W equals 4 times A. Let's look at the unknown situation. It says, what should the sales be during a week where 5,000 was spent on advertising? So what should the sales be? We don't know what W is, but we know 5,000 was spent on advertising. So A is 5,000. So let's fill in the formula. W equals 4 times A is 5,000. Well, 4 times 5,000 is 20,000. That's the answer. All right, so variation, make sure you know there's two problems. You find K first using the first scenario where you know everything, and then you plug that K into the second scenario where you're trying to find one of the missing letters. 12, solve this. All right, it's adding. Um, I need to just factor the bottoms. So the first one's M. Oh, can I even do that? All right, M minus 4. I'll start with this. Plus, leave some space. Top is M, bottom's 1. Remember, you can make a fraction of putting in 1. Equals negative 8M plus 36 over M minus 4. All right, I need LCD. I should put some space. That's right. All right, I need uh, M minus 4. And one one count and then m minus four, so we're good. LC is just m minus four. First fraction is missing nothing, so that's easy. Second fraction is missing m minus four. Third fraction is missing nothing. So now I make one big fraction on the left side. So it's be m plus. Uh, the second two things are multiplying, so m parentheses m minus four over LCD. And this right side, I'm not multiplying by anything. The top because it has everything. The top stays the same. The bottom is LCD. All right, I fixed the fraction on the left side, so I got to distribute this m. So it's m plus m squared minus 4m equals negative 8m plus 36. All that's over LCD. Now, before I solve this, I need to know my restrictions. The restrictions are from LCD, so I'm just gonna go up here. Let's look at the restriction. M cannot be 4. All right, that's all I need. From here on out, I'm not going to worry about the bottom anymore. Because when we're solving, you ignore the bottom. So I'm just going to cross it out. Technically, you just multiply both sides by the bottom. And that cancels out. Um, so my thing is on top, I'm combining terms. m squared. m minus 4m is negative 3m. Equals negative 8m plus 36. This is an algebra 1 problem now. Or it could be algebra 2. I want to say that. I'm going to add 8m to both sides. Because remember, it's quadratic. You must see everyone on the same side. So that's m squared plus 5m equals 36. Well, I got to move the 36 to the left side by subtracting both sides. 
oops, 36. And so my real equation is m squared plus 5m minus 36 equals 0. I have two choices here. You could do quadratic formula. That works. Or remember, factoring is fast because factoring actually solves it for you if you can technically find the restrictions. The restrictions were always solving for the bottom. Now we're solving for the top. So I'm going to do three terms uh, factoring. I see there's no GI X method. On top is negative 36. On bottom is positive 5. What two numbers? Um, 9 times 4. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 minus 4 is 5. The signs, positive 9, negative 4. You do parentheses, m plus 9. Letters m, m minus 4. Divide by a, which is 1. Doesn't do anything. So here's what the top turns into, m plus 9, m minus 4. Now, I didn't solve yet. Those are the factors. Remember, factors and roots are related if you change the sign. Basically, change sign and divide. So I know my solutions. If I set that equal 0, I, so it's like I find the restriction of this. I say m equals negative 9 and m equals positive 4. So there's two solutions. About to check my restrictions. This is m can't be 4, so this has to be crossed out. This is the answer. All right, if I do quadratic formula, I'll get the same two answers. I'll get negative 9 and positive 4. But then you have to check that positive 4 was a restriction, which is bad because I made the bottom 0. So you have to cross it out. The only answer here is negative 9. Um, word problem, variation. All right, this is a distance car can travel on a certain amount of field, varies inversely. So distance varies inversely. So D equals inverse is division. K over what letter they want. Uh, inversely with the speed. Let's call speed S. All right, I'm actually in V. Oh, well. Um, now we got to figure out the uh, known situation, so we find K. If a car traveling 50 miles per hour, so that's speed right there, can travel 300 miles. That's distance. So I know D equals 300 when S equals, well, speed 50. Well, let's use that to find K because that's enough information. D is 300 equals k over s is 50. Well, it's a fraction to get rid of fractions. You multiply the denominator. 50, 50. Remember, 50 is cancel out. The top stays the same, just k. And 50 times 300 is 15 with three zeros, 15,000. We found k. So now we know the real equation. d equals 15,000 over s. That was like the situation they wanted us to figure out. Um, it says 10 gallons of fuel. That's just extra information. It says, how far could the car travel? How far could it travel? It says D. So we don't know what D is. Um, travel on 10 gallons is the same. A fuel at 40 miles per hour. So we know speed. Speed is now 40. So realistically speaking, that should go farther because the slower car goes, the more gas mileage it has. So I fill it in. 40. And actually, I do not know that one. So let's use a calculator. We could do it by hand by breaking it down, but that's a lot of numbers. Let's do this. 15,000 divided by 40 is 375. So I know the equals 37. So it goes an extra 75 miles in this case. And you technically should put units. I should have been used before, I should put money, but that's right. That's 13. 14 solve. I can do this. All right. Leave uh, top alone. It's like a. The bottom factor, that's a plus 4, a minus 4, because that's different squares and no GCF. Because right, I squared that, squared that, I right, a and 4. The uh, right side, two terms, no GCF, it stays the same. I need an LCD. Well, I need 1a plus 4 and 1a minus 4. First fraction is missing nothing. The second fraction is missing um, a plus 4 over a plus 4. So... First one's done over LCD. Second one, I got multiply that. 7 times A plus 4 over the LCD. Um, I'll find the restrictions now, just to get out of the way. Um, A cannot be negative 4 or positive 4. All right. Now I'm going to fix, figure out top and ignore the bottom. So 8A equals 7A plus 28. Easy algebra 1 problem, solve for A. Get A to one side. Pot 1a equals 28. 28 is not our restriction. That is the answer. All right. Guess I have to go to the third video. So I'm going to pause this one here and then do a third video.